Now we're about to get some rollers. We're gonna do some in cabin footage with the car, see how it pulls on the street. Super excited. I've only been in a few R35s, none as nice as this. <laughs> What's going on everyone Kirk here back with another episode and as I mentioned before we're here to continue the Jamaica tour and behind me I have one of the sickest R35s here in Kingston when I check it out speak with the owner Tuss learn a little bit more about the build and also what he has planned so stay tuned let's get started Alright, today we're here with the man himself, Tass, with his R35 GTR. For those of you who aren't familiar with him, we've been trying to do this video for how many months or years now? Probably about two, yeah, yeah, yeah. Originally we were supposed to shoot his Evo and the Civic, yeah. Yeah, but I think we saved the, yeah, the best for last, but we still need to get the other two cars. A little more about that later on. Introduce yourself, you know, let people know who you are. Tuss. <laughs> Everybody know me as Tuss, but um, okay. basically I'm going to just collect car, set them up nice, and just like look one them. Okay. Most people say I'm not driving the car, but you know, just like set them up nice, nice up the street, set up and enjoy it. That's basically it. I mean, you've been a fan of cars for quite some time now. What inspired you to like get into cars in the first place? My father basically, back in the day, my father was probably one of the first man who bring in a Camry. Okay. Yeah man, I always like when I wash it, so now I see proud of my wash his car. Mm. So, I don't know, maybe that's the reason I end up a, you know, just like to have clean cars. Right, right, right. Yeah, but I always buy a whole bunch of car for me when I'm young. I just like lay them out and everything. So one day, you know, we just take it up and just like, oh, just fall, fall, fall in love with car after mm. that. That's basically it. Okay, nice. So I know that you have the R35 now, but what was like the first sports car you, you Toyota got into? Levin. Toyota Levin, yeah. Okay. Man. One day may I race, but me never race. <laughs> never You're driving, driving spiritedly. Driving spiritedly yeah. and I used in a DC5, but two girls in my back. And I come from, I come, I remember where I come from, man, I tell you, Virgin. I dropped the car because it was automatic at the time. Okay. I think it was a silver top. I think it killed me dead, my the body stink on the road. And the man moved off, man, and left me in the DC5. I said, no, sir. You have to give me something better than this. Okay, yeah, nice. Yeah, man. <laughs> Before you got this car, what other cars did you have? A Civic Type R, an FK8, a FD2 Type R, and a, and a Evolution 7. Okay, so it's safe to say JDM is where your heart is at? Yeah, man, JDM. Man. Okay, nice, Seriously. nice, nice. Yeah. That's how I many touch JDM. <laughs> So tell me a little bit about R35, uh, what inspired you to get this car specifically? There's so many options now, like why why this car? The first time I saw one of these cars, I fell in love with it, couldn't manage the price at the time. Mm -hmm. Basically I drive past one day, step my time, my hair said it's a sell. Long story short, only reason I buy a car because I love it, I love the profile like mm -hmm. the car, it's a nice car, a very fast car, the best Japanese Godzilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like the one to have. You never get no better, yeah, it's like the one you can have. Okay, nice, nice, nice. nice. Performance. Yeah. <laughs> Henry Karen spent by this. Oh yeah, yeah. Henry yes, Henry. Man. That's another yes, man. R35 yes, we man. need to get on the channel as well. Yes, <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the car now. When you got it, mm -hmm. it was completely yeah, stock? stock. Yeah, okay. Stock. So since you got it, I see a couple of modifications on it right now. You yeah. want to kind of just walk us through it? Let's start oh, with yeah, the exterior. <laughs> Alright, well the exterior I have some car one fiber trims on the sides here. Mm -hmm. Put the vent stuff on, the wheels upgraded. I have some pads and some titanium stuff to put on, on the, for that brake upgrade. Okay. I don't do that yet though. The side on the wing at the back, the Advant R6 wheels. Yeah, these looking really nice. What's yeah. the, you know the, the specs on the Advance? I think um, the front, I think it's 20 by 12 at the back and 20 by 10 at the front. Okay, nice. Yeah. I see you choose to go with the Michelin, Michelin. Sport Cup 2s. Yeah. yeah, very nice tire, very sticky. Yeah, then, yeah <laughs> but, um, I have a titanium, boost logic, titanium exhaust system. Okay. 
and AMS down pipe. Full carbon fiber air intake system from AMS to AMS are cooler upgrade, ETS upgrade into cooler, TL blow off valve and thing on it. And okay. Yeah. So, so pretty much full bolt ons at, bolt this at this point. Yeah. Alright, you mind if we look inside the engine? Okay, so looks pretty stuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty stuck. Yeah, man. Very nice assortment of parts. I'm assuming that Alpha, I mean AMS, was the, the go to brand yes, for you. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Nice, nice, nice. For you finding these parts, like, why did you choose to go with AMS? Well, AMS, the boss of the GTR still, mm -hmm. you know, with bolt on parts and stuff. Make quality parts, so you couldn't go around them. Okay. I'm an ETS intercooler person for reasons because I have ETS on my evolution. And okay. I think they build the best intercoolers in my opinion. You know. Okay, nice. I see it proven. Mm -hmm. So, so with this setup, is it tuned as well? It have a street tune. I haven't dynoed as yet. Okay. Yeah, but um, transcend performance out of Miami. The other one dealing with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should go back on the dyno when he returns to Jamaica. So okay, hopefully nice, we make nice. some nice, nice power. Yeah, but I'm assuming from how it feels right now, definitely a big improvement. Yes, man, big improvement. Okay, nice, nice. Originally, okay. the car came had a boost leak with it, and he figured it out on you know different car now. Let me ask, what's your what's your favorite part about the car right now? Drivability. Okay. Yeah, it's a car when we can reverse it, you turn off everything and the screws. Right. Yeah, and, um, and it's a car where you can just flip three switch and it's a different car again. Yeah. So, drivability is kind of my main important thing okay, okay. when building cars. Okay, nice. Um, is there anything that you dislike about the car? Dislike? Sometimes it looks extra big. <laughs> like it does look too big. Yeah. But uh, another time I look fine again and say, yo, is that GTI? Yeah. So yeah. I know I know dealing with the Jamaican roads and unruly drivers and all of that. Oh. This is just like yeah. a week weekend Saturday warrior. Yeah, yeah. 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 Make perfect Sunday. sense. Yeah. Okay, nice. Ever took you to the country on the toll roads or anything One like time. that? One time. Okay. One time. Just for test it. No, it's actually two time. Uh, when they were putting on the, the stuff on the car. Right. In Osheros. By Andrew. Big up Andrew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Bramo, yeah, yeah. So basically, that's it. Two time and the time I was testing it, and that was it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I think everybody wants to see exactly how this car is on the street. So what we're going to do right now? Jump into the car, talk a little bit about the driving. So stay tuned. Let's get to it. We're gonna do some in cabin footage with the car. See how it pulls on the street. Super excited. I've only been in a few R35s, so I'm excited to see how it's gonna be on the street of uh, Mr. Wilson. Wheeling and dealing, yeah, and pursuit in the pursuit car. <laughs> Camera car, you know. Yeah, man. Let's see how this is. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice, 
nice, nice, nice. <laughs> When it needs to be a roadie, when it needs to. <laughs> yeah, typical Kingston traffic all the time. That's a while ago was just a quick example of how agile the R35 is in any situation. <laughs> No, 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 I understand. Yeah. Sick. You can't drive it regular and you can't just, you know? Yeah. Well, I've waited on Wilson now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I say no way we have Yeah, man, that was, that was a really nice experience a while ago. Yeah. Definitely. Different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, I understand. <laughs> like, I, I had an idea, yeah. but no, no, I understand. Yeah, man, really nice.
So we're about to embark on a little challenge, you know. First time getting rollers in a highest panel van. So it should be pretty interesting. You guys pray for me. Hope I don't injure myself. And again, these are the things that I do to give you guys content. So again, if you guys aren't subscribed Ready? as yet, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Ready to go. Let's go. This is not Jamaica, man. This is crazy, dog. We lick about with Talawa. Of 
course. After some very exciting, very spirited driving, yeah. you know, thanks to our Lambo friend, we were able to experience all the different aspects of the R35. Toss, yeah, big up again. Big up it was an yeah, amazing man. experience, a Respect. wicked machine. Yeah, man. I hope Respect, to man. be able to be in it again. You get me? Hopefully, a highway pull next time. Yeah. You get me? All the best and all <laughs> the glory to the great R35. Guys, trust me, <laughs> this has definitely changed my perspective on the car. I knew it was a very capable car before, but after experiencing this like on turns and curves up and down, trust me, this is a really good all-around car. I'm happy to say you finally get to yeah, man. You know, be at that level and you know, pick up real. again. So we're going to be seeing Tass on the channel in the future. Yep. As usual, if you guys enjoy this type of content, which I know you will, make sure you like, share and subscribe. Absolutely. Until the next one guys, we're gone. Big up.